listen to this story real, real quick, and I'm out of here. I appreciate y'all. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Shout out to Tracy for the $20 cash up. I appreciate that right there. Here we go. Here we go. He was a rising star on TikTok, but his videos help police connect this young man to some serious crimes. As Fox News' Brandon Hudson tells us, he's now facing federal charges for armed robberies committed across our area. This is one of the TikTok videos police say they used to track down a suspected serial robber. Police say the guy with the fancy footwork is Chosen Hannah. A federal criminal complaint says those white Nike shoes with red accents match the shoes worn during four armed robberies between December 1st and February 1st. Police paperwork says Hannah held up the 7-Eleven in Commerce Township twice. He's also accused of robbing a marathon gas station in Dearborn and earlier this month, the Old West Tobacco in Novi. You know what's finna occur? In fact, no. this TikTok was posted by Hannah the same day Police say he committed the first robbery. When you give them back to the... The criminal complaint says an anonymous tip pointed Dearborn police to Hannah's TikTok profile. Investigators say the purple and pink hair was another big clue. Here's the thing. As we're going through the accused robber's TikTok profile, we're seeing that while police say he was committing all these robberies from December to February, he was still posting videos on TikTok and getting thousands of views. In the case of one video, several million. Well, I'm just surprised and shocked. Because a lot of people out here, are, you know, are really good people, you know, so um, I'm just shocked, honestly. This neighbor lives on the street, which federal documents say authorities did surveillance on Chosen Hannah twice between February 9th and 11th. Then on Wednesday, a warrant led police to find Hannah inside a home on Virgil in Redford. He later admitted to all four crimes. Police were surveilling the street. Did you see any... You know, unmarked cars or any police activity out of the ordinary on this street? No, I didn't see anything. I didn't see nothing out of the ordinary on the street. Um, it's been pretty quiet. My prayers go out to him, and I hope that, you know, he can recover from whatever is making him do that. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News. We don't care. We play too much. Say the purple and pink hair. Yeah, the fuck. Listen, we doing so much. He was a rising star. Young folks are doing so much to be seen and be heard and try to make some money. I get that right there. I, I understand, but we go too damn far. And like I've been trying to tell y'all, with all y'all, what y'all see on social media, people ain't making that paper like that. He robbed 7-Elevens. Uh, well, hell, he told on himself. He robbed 7-Elevens and Marathon. And the tobacco store, nigga, you stupid. Uh, but, 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 he told on himself that he done done the robbers, meaning he wasn't getting no paper. We call this poor meat management because I believe that you're hunching somebody. You hunching somebody, and you was hunching the wrong people. If you, do you understand when you got to rob a 7-Eleven? Life really ain't working that good for you. On TikTok, but his videos help police connect this young man to some serious crimes. That's Fox News. He getting thousands and millions of views. So this kind of tell me he lived with mama there. And in Hudson tells us he's now facing federal charges for armed robberies committed across our area. This is one of the TikTok videos police say they used to track down a suspected serial robber. Police say the guy with the fancy footwork is Chosen Hannah. A federal criminal complaint says those white Nike shoes with red accents match the shoes worn during four armed robberies. Police say they, say they used to track down a suspected serial robber. Police say the guy with the fancy footwork is Chosen Hannah. A federal criminal complaint says those white Nike shoes with... <laughs> Boy, your shoes got you caught. I can't take you serious, little boy. Your shoes got you caught. You must don't know how investigation works. You have not watched good movies to where the real good robbers, all the clothes they have on is burned after the robbery. Y'all don't pay attention to TV. Say, when your shoes outrun you, Straight to jail. Red accents match the shoes worn during four. All four of these little local spots. They ain't really got no paper in there. 
and you doing armed robberies? He was so scared, he told on himself so quick. Thought shit was sweet out here. You on TikTok dancing and flipping the flop. Listen, you had to do them same goddamn dances at the resort. I promise you, pimp. Four armed robberies between December 1st and February 1st. Police paperwork says Hannah held up the 7-Eleven in Commerce Township twice. He's also accused of robbing a marathon gas station in Dearborn. And earlier this month, the Old West Tobacco in Novi. Oh, you know well. was finna occur? Yeah. You done got arrested, player. You finna go to the resort. <laughs> I'm trying In to fact, it. this TikTok was posted by Hannah the same day police say he committed the first robbery. That's the fir his first robbery. Your first robbery. And I bet you had um your hoodie on and shit, you got your mask on, you got your long sleeve on, you got long pants on, there you got everything, huh? But them shoes, though. <laughs> when you give them back to the- The criminal complaint says an anonymous tip pointed Dearborn police to Hannah's TikTok profile. Investigators say the purple and pink hair was another big clue. And it's crazy, right? Oh, hell, they say the purple and pink hair was a big clue. So that means that you went in into one of them places to where they was able to identify your hair color. I can't take you in for I promise you who raised me, mama. I, be, I bet you just stay with your mama. I bet you stay with your mammy. I bet you do. I know she mad than the mother. She should have been gay to your daddy. Here's the thing, as we're going... Because I know your mama pissed off because it looked like when you was going down those stairs that you was going down into a basement. So it seemed like your mama got a nice little spot out here in these streets. Going through the accused robber's TikTok profile, Ooh. we're seeing that while police say he was committing all these robberies from December to February, he was still... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or his grandma house. you absolutely right. Posting videos on TikTok and getting thousands of views. In the case of one video, several million. Shout out to Terrence for the fifteen dollar cash up. I appreciate that right there. Well, I'm just surprised and shocked because a lot of people out here, are, you know, are really good people, you know. So, uh, so he was set up. I'm just shocked, honestly. This neighbor lives on the street, which federal documents say authorities did surveillance on Chosen Hannah twice between February 9th and 11th. Then on Wednesday, a warrant led police to find Hannah inside a home on Virgil in Redford. He later admitted to all four crimes. Police were surveilling the street. Did you see any, you know, unmarked cars or any police activity out of the ordinary on this street? No, I didn't see anything. I didn't see nothing out of the ordinary on the street. Um, it's been pretty quiet. My prayers go out to him, and I hope that, you know, he can recover from whatever is making him do that. He, it's like he insinuating where I ain't here at the street that that player is on a little narcotic, a little essential product, whatever he on, <laughs> or whatever got him doing what he doing, though. You know what I'm saying? But listen, for what y'all see on the internet, is not people real life for the most part. I will keep on saying, I will keep on saying it. We be lying out here in these streets. So he wanted to see. He wanted to see his boyfriend in jail. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hell to the no. Nah. Well, he going to get himself some time. And remember, shout out to law enforcement for putting two and two and three and three together. You know what I'm saying? To go in on and apprehend somebody who was damaging the community. Moving right along.